I also have asked many times, what are my favorite places or my favorite people? <laughs> I don't have any. I really love this whole show. <laughs> and and I, I love the rain and the sun both. <laughs> and one, one makes the other, the synergetics of it all. <laughs> so, so, so wonderful. And there have been a very large number of beautiful people, sometimes well known, sometimes not known at all. Just a wonderful I Irish cook. <laughs> An old lady who really taught me a very great deal. <laughs> and when some human being really wants to let a kid have it, <laughs> they really are beautiful. <laughs> the insights they can give you and, and, they, and how you really can arrive at this result and that result. What you can do with your hands and, and, and how, what you can just do, whipping, whipping up this stuff, you know. It's very different when it's whipped up from, etc. No. I no. But I do know that that, that all that all uh, my indebtedness to, to other human beings is just incredible of, of things they've done in, in enlightening me and, and inspiring me and giving me confidence in uh, that that there is such a, a thing as a love and consideration of human beings. And th these people are not most of them not very well sung. <laughs> the the uh, the uh, the heroes are everywhere and and, uh, and they don't get many markers. <laughs> So I hope that's the right answer to that one. I, I've certainly been very privileged to meet extraordinary people like Einstein, but, but I, I think that he, he himself would like to feel pretty much the way we're talking here too. That probably that's part that would make him so very beautiful. Jeffrey, I took that, did that one in there. Right. Ed Applewhite. You don't seem to use the word culture. It's, is communication independent of culture? I, I, uh, I use the word culture in, as a, uh, in a biological sense. <laughs> so things, there, there are growths and, and uh, so forth. And, uh, into complementaries and the uh, there is is a there's a lot that is referred to as culture in, in human human affairs and there the the accumulation of the poetry and the paintings uh, art and the increase of, 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 uh, of our knowledge and our inventory of understanding. <laughs> but much of it has been called culture, I find, to be highly conditioned reflexes <laughs> that, that are often very impeding. <laughs> For instance, I think that most people who, who talked about culture yesterday would certainly think of the educational system as, as the very essence of it, that, and uh, this where, where it is understood and well known. And I see the, the really the organized educational system right now holding up education more than anything in, in the world. So I, I question the, the word culture as always meaning that the, what happens in the gathering is all, all very beneficial. I think the idea of culture is used as being something as an ascetic, there's something, uh, it's a net, a net gain all the time, but I don't think so. So, I, 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 it's, so it's so full of uh, ambiguities and contradiction, I don't like to use it. I, I don't like the class, the old class system. I, I detested it, and I was being brought up as a kid and being really so, there were two classes of people. There was a carriage trade and these are cultivated people, these are cultured people, and these are uncultured people. I, d I didn't feel that way. So I, the word has been used so, so uh, as I say, so, uh, it was really, uh, very ambiguous. Therefore, I, I just tend to avoid it as a word. <coughs> I, I, I recognize what people are talking about, but I've given you some uh, viewpoints about the different values that really are, are there. There is, there is some synergetic <laughs> interaction of all humanity that 
is very, very difficult to, to identify. But uh, personally, I, I use the dictionary as my one measure that, the, that human beings have, as I've said, discovered 100,000 nuances of experience that merit 100,000 different words <laughs> to identify those unique nuances of, of experience.